Hello children, so welcome back to study table. Today, the lesson which we are going to discuss is the natural features of the youth. You know by the term natural features, we mean to say that the features or the characteristics or the different types of uh, especially landforms which have occurred naturally in the country, in the UAE. That is what we are going to discuss. Okay, so basically we are discussing which are the different landforms of the you let's see the different natural features of the UAE are mountains plains and deserts mountains plains and deserts these are the different natural features of the UAE or the three different landforms of the UAE landforms you mean to say the different kinds of land the different types of land that you see around you know that uh, um, when you travel from one emirate to another emirate in the UAE, the land around that you see is not the same, right? That is what we mean by this. Let's see. First, we'll discuss the mountain. In the picture, what you see is a picture that I've got, uh, that of a mountain of the UAE, okay? Now, in easy terms, mountains are areas of rocky land that rise above the land surrounding them, often reaching to a peak. That is how you define a mountain. Okay? And the UA mountains especially are characterized by being winding, rough and of medium height. If you look at the picture, you can see these are the kind of mountains that you see in the UA. Okay? If you travel to the northern part of UA, Fijara, Ras al those parts if you travel this is a this is the kind of mountain that you see everywhere now if you look at this picture or if you have been to any mountain area in india you will understand that unlike those mountains in india uh, ua mountains are not snowy nor they are green like we have what we have in india okay that makes the difference now the mountain ranges of the UAE is 155 kilometers long and it separates between the Gulf of Oman in the east and the sandy dunes and the Arabian Gulf in the west. The mountain ranges is what makes the separation between the Arabian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman that means in between in the northern part of the country is what we have the is where we have the mountain ranges. Fine. And also, UAE mountains are an extension of the Oman mountains and forms 2.6% of the country's total area. Now, how can you explain this? UAE mountains are an extension of the Oman mountains. I'll show you a map, a UAE map. If you look at this map, you will understand that. See, here you have Oman next to UAE in the southern part. As well as in the northern part also, northeastern part also, we have Oman. And what you see here in the picture in this brownish uh, colored is what the mountains are. So if you look at this, you will understand. See, either from up or down, if you look at it, the mountains are an extension of the Oman mountains. It starts from Oman, that goes on in the UAE and then it again stretches back to Oman. That is why we say UA mountains are an extension of the Oman mountains. Now, this mountain area or this mountain ranges can be divided into three. The first one, the peaks, then the middle highlands and also the al Shamilia highlands. Next, we will see the features of each of these. First, the peaks of the mountains. It extends in the northern parts of the country. The peaks of the mountains are the top points, which extends in the northern part. The highest peaks are Jabal Jibair and Jabal Jais. I am sure that you are very much aware of Jabal Jais, which is the highest peak in the UAE. So this comes in the peaks of the mountain. And also Sham Valley and Al Rams Valley, Valley are the ones which go to these mountains. Next, the Middle Highlands. Middle Highlands stretches to the south of mountain peaks in Hatta to South Alain in the middle part of the mountain range. We have the Middle Highlands. The highest mountain is the Hajar Mountain. 
and valleys are Hatta Valley and Sindhi Valley. And finally, we have the Al Shamelia Highlands. It is higher than the medium highland. Roughness and strong inclinations in the east are the features. Highest peak is Mazafi Mountain. You might have heard of Mazafi water, right? Al Mazafi mineral water is available. So that comes from this mountain. It's named after this mountain, Mazafi Mountain. You can remember like that. And the valleys are Buraya Valley and Ham Valley. Okay. Okay. Now, along with this, we shall also discuss the wildlife in the UAE mountains. Know that UAE mountains are home to some of the rarest and the most threatened animals. I just came across a few articles in which I read about a few animals facing threat of extinction because of several reasons. And uh, I just wanted to share it with you. Fine? Right? Yeah. Although large mammals are pretty rare, they have been several wildlife surveys in Jebel Hafid and researchers have found over 320 species of invertebrates, over 120 species of birds, and 177 species of plants, where in the UAE mountains. Now, Egyptian vulture, pretty good, right? Arabian thar. You might have heard about Nilgiri Thar, which we have in Kerala. Now this is uh, Arabian Thar, Arabian Leopard. Again, we have its counterpart in India, our own Indian Leopard. Here, this is Arabian Leopard and Arabian Mountain Gazelle, somewhat like a deer, right? These are some of the animals which are facing extinction. Now, these are the animals found in the mountains and which are on the endangered list by the IUC. You know what IUCN is? IUCN is the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Okay, so these animals are facing extinction because of uh, either of hunting or loss of habitat. If you remember, we have already learned about wildlife conservation and initiatives taken for it worldwide by the WWF, right? I hope you remember that lesson. So same like that, UAE also has taken up several programs for the survival of these various species captive breeding program uh, is one such programs or one such initiatives taken by the government here more details of this can be found in the link given below in the description hope you will go through that also make sure you read those articles and create an awareness about what is happening around what is happening the threats faced by our wildlife because of our own actions And I also hope that you will take your best of your initiative to create a positive outlook towards nature and our environment. So there goes our lesson today. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it.